Hello, everyone. I'm Valentina, and these are my teammates, Zach, Daniel, and Chris. For our capstone, we built Shutar. During this pandemic, I'm sure we all find out just how bored we can really get. So we invented an augmented reality shooting range app to help keep us entertained. Have some time to kill? Why not shoot some targets? Android and iOS users will be able to launch our application using VR Media. Upon launching the app, users will see a welcome screen, click on the Go Shoot, and let's start playing. Let's wait for the portal to render. Users will see a portal and the instructions to enter. The main challenge in adding the portal to our game was properly positioning and scaling the portal and the portal scene. We had to test positioning on both Android and iOS as the behavior was not the same on each platform. Now let's enter the portal and start shooting, giving it to Daniel. Thanks, Val. Once the user goes in the portal, the user can choose the difficulty level from easy to expert and different guns to shoot with. However, guns other than the pistol needs a certain score level to get unlocked. Once the user decides on the gun and difficulty level, the user can start the game by shooting the big target in the middle. Once the big target is shot, targets randomly appear around the user and the user can shoot them down. As you can see, we have our recoil animation, bullet projectile, target explosion, and sound all to enhance the user experience. Be aware, there's also a time limit of one minute and also a reload animation, so you probably wouldn't want to spam bullets around. Accuracy and speed are both needed for this game. Next, I'll pass it on to Chris to start talking about the technology used for this project. Thanks, Dan. In order to create Shoot AR, we first had to familiarize ourselves with Vero React, the framework that we use for the augmented reality. Every 3D object within Vero is placed within the Vero AR scene component. Our view into the scene comes from the Vero AR camera. Anything placed within the camera becomes attached to the screen view. We began by rendering our guns here in order to keep them in sync with the screen view. After attaching the gun and finding a starting point for the bullets, we then had to figure out how to create projectile motion. To achieve this, the Vero AR scene provides us with a useful callback function. This callback gives us the camera's position within the scene, its rotation, and most importantly, a forward vector that points straight outward from the camera plane. Multiplying this vector by the desired bullet velocity then let us map this velocity onto the bullets and launch them when they're rendered in. Unfortunately, this callback function runs roughly 60 times per second though. Knowing this, we had to keep track of the firing logic through React State. If the user clicks to fire and is allowed to fire at that point in time, we then render the bullet into the scene and launch it. In order to implement a UI overlay and relay necessary information to the user, we decided to keep track of these state changes within Redux and then pass that state to a parent React Native overlay component. Other technologies used for the 3D design aspect of our project include Maya for applying textures to the models and exporting them as embedded files, Gravity Sketch which is a virtual reality 3D modeling software for modeling and mockups. The background scene you are viewing now was actually designed in Gravity Sketch and rendered in browser using 3JS. Now I'm going to pass it off to my teammate Zach to talk about the sound and animation design for our project. Hello everyone. When designing this game, we knew that we wanted to make the experience as immersive as possible. Two aspects of any game that are very important for this are the sounds and the animations. For the sounds, we decided that we wanted to include music, unique bullet sounds for each gun, a reloading sound, and an explosion sound when hitting targets. Much of the sound editing came from the use of Reaper, which is a digital audio workstation. There are currently seven songs that will play at random throughout the duration of your playtime. These sounds were all added into our Vero React component within the game and are triggered accordingly. Animations are also incredibly important for making a game feel real. Because of this, we included a recoil and reload animation for each gun. In addition, we added a magazine object that is used during the reloading segment of the guns. Finally, we included an explosion animation for the targets once they are hit. These explosions are made possible through the use of particle emitters. Future features that could be added to this game include more weapon options, scoreboards, different game modes, and multiplayer. Thank you for viewing our presentation. We hope that we have shot down your boredom.